After some groundbreaking discoveries were announced earlier this month, Mammoth Cave National Park hosted National Fossil Day today. WBK reporter Derek Parham joined cave guides and paleontologists to bring us the latest. Earlier this month, cave guides at Mammoth Cave National Park announced their discovery of Tolison's scraper tooth, an ancient shark species that lived about 340 million years ago. And so we were able to kind of reconstruct how this thing lived in Mammoth Cave, you know, back, you know, 340 million years ago, um, based on uh, comparing it with the fossils of Genassa found in younger rocks elsewhere in the world. Fossils of the shark and a life-sized replica of the roughly cat-sized animal were unveiled today as a new exhibit at Mammoth Cave, as well as an original painting depicting what the tropical waters of Mammoth Cave looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. So we have uh, identified at least uh, two to three more new species that we're currently in the process of, of publishing on. And uh, can't tell you too much about it, but they're pretty exciting. These are kind of like more apex predator type sharks, where Strigolotus is more, we call it a mesic or meso, uh, like middle grade kind of predatory animal. Um, so, uh, and these new stuff kind of look more like sharks that we would recognize today in a way. So um, they're gonna be really cool when they come out. <laughs> Some of those new species found in the cave system may dwarf current apex predators of modern oceans, like the great white. What we have evidence of in Mammoth Cave are some animals that are reaching somewhere between 20, 28 feet uh, on some of the bigger teeth that we found, but there's potential that this animal can actually get so closer to somewhere between like 30, 35. Examples of those teeth and many ancient animals like cave bears, mastodons, and dinosaurs were all on display today in celebration of National Fossil Day. People think of fossils, yeah, you have to go like out somewhere crazy wild and you know out of the way, but it turns out fossils are everywhere. And they represent, you know, ancient uh, you know, living communities that, you know, range from like really deep in time when critters were kind of like really weird and alien to something a little bit more recent like like the last ice age. So when we had things like uh, woolly mammoths and mastodons, you know, wandering, you know, places like here in Kentucky. The latest additions to Mammoth Cave's paleontological resource inventory should be officially completed in the coming months. Reporting in Mammoth Cave, Derek Parham, WBKO News. Scientists around the world are going to be excited about this. This is really some cool stuff.